With this digital age that we live in, we oftentimes seem to forget that in logistics and trucking, we still have a pretty much human aspect to it that we oftentimes nowadays forget. And I think we need to do a better job of remembering that drivers are 100% why we have the jobs that we have. They're 100% the reason why we get the things we get wherever they need to go. So I would highly recommend that if you are an individual who is uh, participating as a freight broker or a dispatcher or a trucking company owner, where you're actually not the one in the actual uh, cab driving the truck, you definitely need to consider some things when moving forward. Okay, one of those things is 100% to deal with um you know, walking a mile or driving a mile in the driver's shoes. So put put yourself in the driver's shoes. Put yourself in a situation where you can understand why that driver is doing what they're doing and why that driver is in the situation that they're in, okay? So when you do this, it'll help you better understand what your next steps will be to better engage and better get the driver the desired result that needs to happen okay that could be a delayed pickup where the driver is just sitting around and nobody is getting to him to load him on time another one out there is definitely to build rapport and relationships with drivers to better understand each other too so you can better understand what is the driver um in needing how does the driver communicate and how you can better play a better role as a dispatcher or even as a broker if you do have direct contacts with the drivers um, to better to better get the job done but also treat the person above all else as a human being okay there is no need for arrogance there is no need to treat them in in a manner that's not so good If you're a driver watching this, what are some of the times that you've experienced where brokers didn't treat you as you should have been treated, uh, which is just with dignity and respect, that's it. Uh, What about uh, your dispatchers? Okay, have your dispatchers done something? Let us know in the comments below if you've had some very crazy situations with either brokers or dispatchers in that light. Another thing we have to uh, keep in mind as trucking company owners or as brokers or as dispatchers to effectively plan. Effective planning is the key. Okay, so brokers should definitely collaborate with dispatchers to meet the timelines that have to be met and give the driver enough space and time to do this. One for the dispatchers out there is definitely to balance the uh, the opt the optimum miles for the driver for decent and good earning or great earning company profitability and the time home for the drivers as well there has to be a balance of those three things Um, and this is obviously for dispatchers primarily to understand this also please plan the backhauls if you at all can in advance to ensure that the driver is not stuck at a place for a long time this has to be done in a proper manner Booking too early can definitely be detrimental, just as waiting too long to book something back can also be. So there has to be a balance there, okay? In addition to this, backhaul. The term backhaul should not be confused or used interchangeably with cheap freight. So please don't take cheap freight just because somebody is labeling it as a backhaul, okay? Another thing, you should be aware of the of which drivers are trained and certified to carry the hazmat loads. So this definitely is the broker's responsibility to properly vet the carrier and also to make sure that the dispatcher understands hazmat. Okay, you don't just pass off a hazmat load to dispatcher and hope everything goes well. Ask the right questions and see if the right person is taking this this shipment. Okay dispatchers on the other hand should definitely be aware of the hours of service availability for drivers and don't put drivers in a, in a mission impossible situation where they're going to have a very difficult time covering that load getting to pick up or delivery on time because you thought they can make it do the calculations look at the hours of service availability for your drivers and plan accordingly okay and a good dispatcher and a trucking company owner can definitely make or break a trucking company. So if a dispatcher does his or her job 
properly, driver turnover will definitely improve. Okay, they, it definitely will get better. Um, so you you have to do what we just st- talked about, and that's to put yourself in the driver's shoes, build a rapport, and and do the right type of uh, right by the driver by by having and showing that respect for the ones that essentially help you earn your paycheck and help feed your family both figuratively and literally as well because they actually get stuff to our stores as we would need them okay and of course be aware of contract and company policies with owner operators and with your company drivers don't coerce drivers don't put them in situations where they don't want to be uh, or you 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 yourself wouldn't want to be in let alone drivers so if you do this type of planning ahead of time and be aware of situations and a lot of the stuff comes down to the situational awareness for you as a dispatcher broker you know trucking company owner a motor carrier owner being aware of these things you're building a foundational ethical company that's that's an integral part of the community where people actually want to come and apply to work for you okay and this goes in combination with good pay quality working standards quality working environment um, safe working environment and people feel that they are being heard as well so Take driver feedback and don't take it just back with a grain of salt, okay? If a driver gives you some insight about a shipper or a consignee delivery location or the lane, the trip itself from A to B, if they tell you, I don't want to go to New York City, I don't want to go to Manhattan, I don't want to go to Staten Island, I don't want to go to Newfoundland or wherever, respect to all these places, by the way, don't send them as a dispatcher or trucking company owner you should take these things into consideration take it and uh, implement it into your company okay drivers like this when they see that they're being heard and you're not sending them to locations where they themselves would not uh, often want to even go because of whatever those factors are i'm sure we can guess what those would be for staten island or manhattan as an example but In the long run, if you take these things that we have just stated in this short video, you will do better for yourself. These are just little tips and advice to better your company day in and day out. And with this, you're going to be a better company as a whole. Not only will your drivers want to stay and your turnover will be uh, diminished, it will also help with the administrative side of the equation as well. Okay, you want to build a team that works in collaboration with one another. So there's always channels of communication open and you guys aren't running into situations where nobody would want to be in. Okay, so thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a like, a comment, a subscribe to the channel. We, we I do put a lot of effort into making sure that we can put some information out there. No fluff. This is just what it's about. And this is for trucking companies, owner operators, and freight brokers, respectively. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.